what's up guys yeah so I'm trying something new trying to mess around with you guys trying to connect a lot more with you guys today's review is going to be with kickass 2 so okay I want to start off there's not going to be any spoilers 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 so if there's any I'll just cut it off okay movie was great I've watched lots of review before watching the movies as in the creatures comic cast so someone else anyways and they were saying how it was good but it wasn't great and like how it wasn't amazing and all this stuff honestly I thought it was amazing I came out of that movie theater pumped and I was like hell yeah that movie was amazing I don't know what those guys were talking about honestly people were saying how they kick-ass 2 and kick-ass the movies they were shitting a lot on the comics and honestly it's not in the comics the motherfucker kills lots of kids they're not gonna put that in the movie that's just bad taste obviously that's not gonna be in the movie but everything else is in the movie it's amazing it's just like what you expect from a comic movie and yeah they make it funny because they want to make it entertaining that movie was hilarious I'm gonna tell you something that movie was so freaking funny and okay I want to start off with Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass was amazing in this movie. They have focused a lot on Kick-Ass in this movie. Like unlike the, the first one which it was half and half. It was half and half Kick-Ass and half and half Hit Girl. Like half Hit Girl. So it was it was all you know the storyline went perfect. It's just real you know and um okay Hit Girl Hit Girl She's not a lot in this movie. I'm just gonna say that. She's not a lot in this movie. I'm not gonna say why. But it really didn't disappoint me because the movie is hit is kick ass, not hit girl. It really didn't disappoint me at, at all. And it was cool because the way that the you know, the reason why she's not that much in the movie may just made it feel real. Like if it was real life, the motherfucker. He was so badass in this movie. Like at first, that I thought it was hilarious how he thought he was a hardcore killer. Like that was amazing. That was just like the perfect thing. And after that, when he turns into a motherfucker, it was just like he turned badass in a, just from here all the way to up here. I don't even know if I'm on frame. Maybe I am. But it was crazy. He was he was good. He was really good at the character, and of course, Mother Russia. Every, every, if you hear about a review, if you see a review, they're gonna talk about Mother Russia. Mother Russia was fucking badass. She was amazing. She was my favorite character of the movie. Um, also, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey did really good as his character, Colonel Stars. I think that's his name. He did pretty amazing you know I, I I liked him a lot um and, and it I don't know like it didn't disappoint me that he wasn't as ex you know as much in the movie but when he was involved it was it was a, a, a good scene you know and a lot of people were like oh I expected more from him you know I expected more scenes honestly he's there for a good bit you know like he's not a main character um, but he did a great job, and I know what happened with the Jim Carrey thing, and whatever, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna tell you something, the gore wasn't even that bad, you know, they don't even show, like, half, you know, probably two seconds of blood, that's it, like, they don't, the gore isn't that bad, so, I don't know, I read a review, a review by MTV, and they were just bashing on the movie, they were saying that, Kick-Ass 2 is a prime, you know, the example of why movies shouldn't make a second, a sequel or whatever. That was bullshit, because honestly, that movie was great. It, For me, I think it was better than the first one, honestly. You know, they kept going, like, it's so hard to make that happen. And with Kick-Ass 2, they just, it was like that. Like, it was easy for them, I, I believe. And this one little detail that I loved from the movie was every time they spoke in another language or yeah I think the subtitles of the movie they weren't just normal subtitles they were 
like little bubbles, like speech bubbles, like in the comics. And I thought that was great. I thought that was amazing because it gives it that comic book feel, how it's supposed to be. And let me see, what else can I talk about? The fight scenes were crazy as hell. I love the fight scenes. I I came out of that movie theater just throwing punches in the air, and it it was awesome. And the League of Superheroes was good. Um, I like I like all the characters. They were all unique in their way. They were all funny as hell. And yeah, that movie was just great. I recommend it, guys. Like honestly. I give it a 9.5, if not a 10, because that movie was great, it, it fulfilled everything. Yeah, th oh, okay, there's one thing of the movie that I kind of, I was confused about, but uh, it, it's with someone that was in the first movie, and in this one, he, she, you know, he or she is not even there in the movie, like, it, just in one freaking scene, I'm not even kidding, just in one, and it was dumb, but... I, I didn't care about it. It was like a little, you know, a little detail that I was like, ah, nah, I didn't get it. But honestly, it was great. Again, I give it a 9.5, if not a 10. And I cannot wait if there's a third one. Because it would be great if they do a third one. Hopefully, it comes out good. And hopefully, they don't crap on it like a movie that I know. You know, if you like this review, hit the like button, comment down below, let me know what you thought about the movie, we'll have a conversation, and subscribe somewhere over here, and, oh guys, I had a question, I had a question, I'm making a comic book, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make this little comic book story, and I have this character, if you guys would go down in the description. I'm going to have a link to my Facebook fan page. Please, please, you know, like it. And I'm trying to keep in touch with you guys. And I'm going to be up updating stuff. And I want to contact with you guys. You know, if you have a fan art, you know, draw something. Take a picture of it. Put it on the web on, on the page. Anything you want. Honestly, anything. And, yeah, guys. You know what? Take, I want someone to draw a picture of me right here with my swords and my and, and my gun. Yeah, that was awesome. You know, so thank you, Webslingers, and take care. Hang around, bros.